So welcome. Uh, I am Doris. I work as an international marketing uh, specialist here at Tallinn University. And today I am going to tell you briefly about Estonia, about Tallinn University overall. And then I will hand in the floor to my colleagues who will tell you in more detail about our study programs, about politics and governance, liberal arts and social sciences and international relations. Later on, I will continue with the admission process, the student life here, and so on. In case you have any questions, feel free to write them right away here in the chat. My colleague will answer them in a written form, and later on, I will answer them directly. But let's start. So a few words about Estonia. We are a really small country in, the, in Europe. Uh, our neighboring countries are Russia and Latvia and across the bay from Finland. Our area is approximately 45,000 square kilometers, so as I said, we are a really, really small country with a population of about 1.3 million people. Our capital city is Tallinn, so we as a Thai university are located here in the capital. The population here is around 400,000 and the currency is euro like in most of the European Union countries. Additional to the European Union, we also belong to the Schengen area, which means that we have open borders with the rest of the Schengen area countries and also to NATO. Our official language is Estonian, but English and Russian are also widely spoken here. We are a society, we have e-parking, e-banking, e-voting, name it. Uh, we have, what well, of course, and what we're really proud of, uh, what every Estonian knows and says about Estonia, that Skype software was developed by Estonian engineers. Moving here to Estonia, for EU EA citizens, it's a bit easier. Uh, you need to come here and within three months, you need to register yourself as a citizen of Tallinn. For non-EU EA citizens, it's not that complicated, but a bit more to do. You need to apply for a residence permit for study and for a visa uh, at, in your nearest embassy. You can read uh, more about the temporary residence permits, uh, all the uh, required documents from polizei.ee and vm.ee. Uh, this vm.ee is a page of Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So those two web pages from there, you can get the detailed information which documents you need and what you exactly need to do in order to gain the right of temporary residence here in Estonia. A lot of our applicants, our students ask whether or not is it possible to work in Estonia while you study. The answer is yes, you can work in Estonia even full time while you study, but you have to be sure that you also manage to study full time. Where you can uh, start the process of finding a job is, for example, our career and counseling center here at Tallinn University. From there, you can go and uh, get some help. Uh, and also, they have uh, a variety of job offers there as well. But meanwhile, you can go to workinestonia.com webpage. And there you can read more about working here in Estonia. And already from there, you can see various job offers. About Tallinn University, we are the third largest public university in Estonia. And as a Tallinn University, we are a rather young university. Uh, Tallinn University was established in 2005. Actually, the history dates back, but as a Tallinn University, we do the research teaching starting from 2005. At the moment, we have approximately 9,000 students studying here on BA, MA and PhD level, among whom around 900 are foreign students. This 900 makes up of the degree students and the exchange students. Uh, most of our degree students are from uh, Finland, uh, then from Russia, Turkey, Latvia, Lithuania, Ukraine, Georgia and so on. Actually, we have more than 60 countries represented here. Uh, we have around 1,000 staff members, among whom about 9% are foreign academics, which is one of the highest percentages in Estonian universities. So the multicultural experience is guaranteed by the professors as well. And we have around 250 partner universities. 
So when you come to study here and do you want to go and study abroad for, for a semester or a year, you have a variety of universities to choose among. And at the moment we have eight academic units here at Tallinn University. We have a leading role in promoting and developing the intelligent lifestyle in Estonia. And as a result, we have directed our resources and activities into five broad focus fields. So all the research, teaching, everything uh, is conducted in those five broad focus fields, which are educational innovation, cultural competences, society and open governance, digital and media culture, and healthy and sustainable lifestyle. Here at Tallinn University, we believe in an individual approach to students. Uh, by that, I mean our courses are rather small, so you always have the possibility to discuss different matters with your course mates, with the professors. We believe in interdisciplinarity, uh, which means uh, co-work across different disciplines. Additional to that, we have a really good uh, location. Our campus is right in the city centre. So the uh, old town that belongs to the UNESCO World Heritage is only 10 minutes walk away. Harbour, only five minutes walk away. Also the airport and bus station are close by. Uh, today our facilities include uh, modern study rooms, classrooms, computer classes, everything necessary for a student. And we even have here our own cinema hall where students can go and watch films for free. But now I will uh, give the floor to my colleague, Leif Kalev, who will uh, tell you more about the School of Governance, Law and Society and Politics and Governance program. Hello, everyone. Um, our School of Governance, Law and Society is responsible for one of the key fields and uh, this is society and open governance. This means we cover most of the um, uh, aspects of all kinds of uh, international relations, sociology, politics and governance, law and economics, also social work and so on. And it also means it is the largest institute uh, in the university and also the institute with the largest number of uh, foreign students. We have operated uh, uh, for quite a long time in very different forms, but as a new institute uh, the large school of governance, law and society was established only uh, this autumn. Now, um, English programs have been part of our teaching already for uh, more than five years. And uh, we have some alumni in English programs. Currently, uh, most of our alumni are still uh, from Estonian programs. So we have several Estonian top uh, public officials from the field of politics and governance, also people in media uh, enterprises and so on. Our English graduates uh, currently are mostly from IR program and they have uh, several public uh, positions uh, in public service, but also much uh, networking uh, positions in international organizations and cooperation. Today, we cover three uh, main programs, and I'll talk uh, about the first of these. Uh, this is our bachelor program in uh, politics and governance, a new program. It is designed uh, for people who uh, are interested in some uh, field of uh, politics and governance, but we understand it in a broader way. So it's all kinds of uh, contacts and uh, knowledge with regard to uh, 
politics and governance, but also economics, uh, management, and international relations. Our idea is that we give you uh, certain core competencies, but then you are free to uh, add your own uh, best preferences from uh, uh, some key modules and this way develop your own uh, career. Um, so uh, to be a bit more precise, it's a normal bachelor program. Uh, it lasts uh, three years, uh, has 180 uh, European credit points. And uh, the tuition fee is uh, uh, 1,450 euros per semester. The program um, is, in a way, traditional in Tallinn University. It is a new English program, but the teachers uh, have uh, competence uh, in many cases, uh, more than 20, 25 years. And uh, this way, it's an expansion of a core competence area of Tallinn University. Uh, many programs have been conducted in Estonian, uh, and now this is our English program. And in developing this, we have also paid attention to enabling uh, possible students to have a more international uh, uh, perspective after their studies, be it uh, work or activities related or um, uh, master studies related, uh, that is the logical next step for bachelor uh, program. Now, these are maybe two key words. Students' possibility to design his or her studies uh, plus uh, international or transnational orientation. In fact, uh, we would be extremely happy if our graduates could develop a more uh, internationally or transnationally oriented profile linking the good sides of various countries and develop new kinds of jobs, new kinds of projects, even enterprises. But uh, let's see, uh, this uh, depends on uh, you and also uh, future years. The program um, builds uh, uh, on a core courses that uh, 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 form 80 credits and give you key competences in politics and governance. But you can also uh, select uh, some special modules. Um, you should select at least two from a set of uh, four, including politics, governance, international relations, uh, and economics and management. In addition to that, there will be practical training and uh, so-called interdisciplinary project that both link your competence to practical uh, uh, activities and uh, prepare your future uh, career. And we also have bachelor thesis, quite a normal bachelor thesis that should develop your academic uh, competence. What will come of our alumni will be seen as it is a new program. As I told you, many of the former graduates of uh, various programs in politics and governance have found uh, quite many uh, ways to go forward. And we would also like uh, you to have uh, your own way forward be it in uh, international activities, be it in uh, uh, public service or enterprises, civic society, media. It's up to you, 
and you can also uh, develop your choices during the studies. Uh, a key point is second year where you have to uh, select the module. And of course, the key uh, aim of a bachelor program is to provide uh, graduates good uh, competence and competitivity to enter master programs. This is possible in Tallinn University master programs. But many English speaking uh, graduates have also uh, gone for various programs in other EU countries and uh, been quite successful. So this could also be a step to various master studies, as usually our bachelor competencies are uh, quite uh, well accepted and received in admission examination. But this is only uh, premises. The key role is uh, in every student's activities and motivation and results. So you are uh, uh, well uh, received uh, to develop your competencies and uh, build the basis for next steps of your career. So much for politics and governance. Now I'll pass the uh, uh, floor over to uh, my colleague Kathleen Kiernan, who will continue with a liberal arts bachelor program. Hello, everyone. My name is Kathleen, and I am the curator of the liberal arts program, and I also teach international relations. Uh, first things exactly is liberal arts. Now, our university offers liberal arts and social sciences. And the idea of liberal arts is, is, in essence, the idea that you should have something of everything. So you should have one comprehensive education in a specific field. Specific in this case being social sciences. So our program covers all the social science fields in one way or the other and also lets you choose which of those fields is more your thing. What are you interested in? Which courses would you like to take more? So first, the essentials. The program is three years long, six semesters, and 180 European credits. Everything is so far so good. And what happens to you when you come is that you will be able to, well, first of all, get to know all the programs and then choose your own. And then in the end, graduate what the program looks like. I'll get into it in a moment. But first of all, why come? Now, the idea of liberal arts, as I said, is to offer you something of everything. So if you're not sure, if you don't know yet which of the social sciences is for you, or maybe you don't even know what all of them mean. What is demographics? What is sociology? And you don't know what, whether you like them or not. Come and try them out, all of them. And at the same time, in order to understand sociology, you should have a basic understanding of politics. You should have a basic understanding of governance, of economics, something in, in the field of international relations, maybe some education in there as well. So the idea is that you can get to know all of these, but you can also form connections. The idea is that it's not only different subjects that are separate from each other, it's also that they work together and you get a comprehensive idea of what it is to study social sciences. And of course, over the years, you will have some courses that you like more than the others, some ideas that you like more than the others, and you will want to graduate in one of those fields. We offer you the chance to pick your own major based on the open electives and the electives inside the program as well. Um, we can find you courses that fit you personally to make sure that you get the education that you are interested in. And in the end, when you leave, then you have two things. You have an idea of what you wanted to study. You have an idea of your specific interest field and you have an idea of most things in social sciences. Our particular program 
is uh, one of very rare ones in this region. You can't find that many liberal arts programs. And um, it's a very varied program background wise. We have in mostly international students from Europe, from Asia, from Africa, and also um, uh, people from the Americas. And so you meet lots of different people. Some of them are younger people just after uh, coming here after school and others are older people because the program is not only for those who are don't know yet what they want to do it's also for those who just want to have a more varied idea of the world so we have older people who have work experience we have people from all over the world so not only do you get the experience of different classes you also get the experience of different students you can study with them and exchange ideas with them learn new things with them Plus, of course, you can go on Erasmus and meet even more people. So the program is fairly simple. It starts off with compulsory courses. There are a lot of them, and they all cover different types of social sciences. We have sociology, psychology, politics, international relations, law, education, everything. And then throughout those courses, you will find out what interests you most. You can also have practical training. That's Part of the program, so compulsory for all, to go and find some practical sides to your skills that you've got in university. And then in the end, you have a choice of either thesis or an exam. Uh, with an exam comes a research seminar, so you get basic research skills no matter what, and writing skills for everyone, and also, as I said, practical skills. And you can design your own main focus out of uh, things that are offered in the program, but also other things that are offered in the university. Now, after graduation, uh, what we would like you to do is, well, choose your, keep choosing your future. Uh, our graduates thus far, even though the program was slightly different until now, uh, our gra graduates have mostly gone on to master studies in all universities all over Europe. Some have sta stayed in this university. We have English speaking master's programs as well. One of them you will hear about in a moment. But also other European universities, including very high level ones. And um, well, not everybody goes right away. Some people take a year off. Uh, some people return to work if that was their plan originally. And um, the idea we have is that we would help you guide us, help you find what to do afterwards as well. Uh, we won't find you the um, a spot in university you have to get that yourself but we will give you all the skills necessary to make that choice and to actually go and get the position you're looking for so in the end you will have practical experience you can have it inside the country or elsewhere as well there are chances for foreign practical training and um, you will have research skills you have knowledge about all kinds of social sciences and hopefully after you graduate, you will have an, have a pretty clear idea what you want to do in the future. Maybe go into a master's program, maybe the one that we will tell you about in a moment. But first, do you have any questions that I can answer right now? Except not right now. So here, if you have plans for master's already afterwards, then um, here is my colleague, Matthew Crandall, who is going to tell you about one of the programs that you can choose from, our own international relations. So thank you for listening. Hi, it's good to be with you. My name is Matthew Crandall, and I'd like to talk a little bit about our master's program in international relations. So what is international relations and what will we be studying uh, as a master's program and what would you potentially be studying as uh, master's students? So the IR program is an interdisciplinary subject within the social sciences and we deal with basically how uh, one engages with the other. Um, and so a large focus is on interstate relations, but we do bring in a lot more than just uh, the states uh, as well. 
Uh, it can, uh, topics can vary from the complex and strategic relations, as well as transformational uh, actors and processes, which influence those as well. And of course, non-state actors. The program focuses on foreign and security policy. And the way that our program is built up is that you choose one module to focus on. So a focus on security and conflict or uh, focus on globalization and region living. And then different courses within those modules that support those goals. The thesis is a, a large portion of the curriculum. So out of 120 ECTS, uh, 24 are based on the thesis, uh, another six uh, research seminars that are related to the thesis. And we encourage the topic of the thesis to be also linked to your choice of modules so you can really go in depth and become experts on your topic. The tuition is uh, 1,350 euros per semester. And as I noted, that it's a two-year program, so four semesters. Now, why would you want to choose international relations uh, for a master's program? And I think there are a lot of great benefits, both for the subject of international relations, as well as the program here at Tallinn University. Uh, first of all, um, um, so similar themes that you've already heard about Tallinn University are also applicable to our master level program. Uh, the international aspect, and I think I'd like to emphasize that if you're going to study international relations, it's very important that you have uh, an international experience uh, because we have a very diverse world and getting um, different perspectives on the processes and challenges that are going uh, will enrich your educational experience. So we have an internationally experienced faculty in terms of uh, faculty members being from different countries, Canada, Finland, the United States, is where I'm from, as well as Estonia. Also, we have uh, teachers with a vast um, amount of international experience, uh, whether it's um, education or research projects uh, or teacher exchanges. Um, but our teachers have been um, to a wide number of, of different countries, ranging from North America, Europe, uh, India, and, and Asia uh, as well. From this, we have competences um, in a wide number of geographic regions. Um, certainly the Nordic Baltic region as well. Uh, we want you um, to experience the lessons that Estonia has learned over the last several decades. And so I think that's one um, point to note that if you're coming to Estonia uh, in our curricula, you'll also be able to experience some of the expertise that are here uh, to learn, uh, whether it's small state studies, um, innovation, um, resiliency, um, and other regional challenges. We have um, certainly a focus that goes beyond the region, uh, courses on uh, Asia, uh, transatlantic relations, and I think um, whatever your research focus might be, uh, you'll be able to find a way to support that within the framework of our program. We have an active student organization, International Relations Society, and I think that's also very important, especially at the master's level, that students are active outside of the classroom, um, and they organize a lot of different events. They bring in guest speakers, um, key leaders from the local community to discuss uh, contemporary challenges, uh, debates, movie screenings, uh, even field trips to local cities and uh, areas of interest here in Estonia. And also the students from all around the world. So uh, similar to liberal arts and uh, political science and governance uh, programs, um, students are from all over, um, quite a few uh, from the Caucasus, Eastern Europe, Africa, uh, Western Europe, uh, as well as Asia and South and North America. Literally, we, we get students from all four corners of the globe uh, every uh, admission. And um, and you'll really benefit from that. Uh, so for me, for example, uh, teaching in Estonia, one of the things I love compared to, say, uh, educational experience in the United States is the international classroom, where in group work you'll have students from different continents, and you can really um, feel the enrichment that comes from different perspectives. Practical experience. So one thing with the social sciences um, is that there isn't a specific job waiting for you. There's not a, a job just in international relations. Um, you have a, a great opportunity that awaits you. And so that's a challenge as well as an opportunity. 
And one thing that we uh, incorporate into our program to help our students be um, better able to take advantage of the, the opportunities presented to them is to gain practical experience through the course of the program. Uh, so we have uh, several credits that are required uh, at either carrying out an internship or engaged in some other type of practical experience. And so we update uh, and with our partners provide opportunities, whether it's Model UN, uh, round table events, uh, or other uh, type of um, training session, uh, internship opportunities. Um, as a capital city in Europe, there's quite a few opportunities that, um, that can await you. Um, we also try to utilize uh, our location in the capital to bring in uh, key elites, uh, foreign policymakers to engage with the students, uh, whether guest speakers within the framework of course or the previously mentioned student union. And one thing that we do um, try to do as well is um, enable the students to have study trips. So these are sponsored by um, NATO as well as the European Union, European Parliament. Uh, and so we can't uh, guarantee these in terms of a contract between Holland University and students. Uh, but so far, uh, our partners have uh, funded and financed and sponsored these trips. And so for English speaking students, which would be uh, you, we've been able to, to go every year except for one over the past four years to NATO headquarters in Brussels. Uh, the Brussels Public Affairs um, branch uh, funds and pays for the trip. It's a great opportunity to really uh, engage with the policymakers and to link the classroom studies with uh, the real life experiences. And there's also been a trip to the European Parliament uh, to visit Estonian members of uh, the Parliament. What happens after graduation? Um, we've had, uh, and my colleagues have also mentioned uh, similar uh, opportunities, but there's a lot of options available uh, for you. Uh, and uh, we're quite confident that over the two years you're here in Estonia, you'll already be able to start making networks uh, gaining practical experience as well as the theoretical um, and research skills that are needed for a successful career. So hi again. A uh, few words about the scholarships and study allowances as well. There is one possibility only uh, for people who apply to MA level and who are MA level students to apply for Estonian National Scholarship Program. Uh, the scholarship is 350 euros per month and the deadline uh, to apply is March 31st. If you would like to know more about uh, this scholarship, you need to go to studyinestonia.ee and there's the information of how to apply, uh, what are the required documents, etc. There's all, also a possibility to apply for a needs-based study allowance for and this is for students from financially disadvantaged backgrounds. And this allowance is 75 up to 220 euros per month. And you only need to apply once and throughout your studies, you will uh, get the allowance. Another one is a study allowance based on your study results. So if you have a good average grade, then uh, most probably you will get one. Uh, the allowance is 100 euros per month, but uh, to this, allowance you need to apply each each semester once again so each uh, semester your grades will be checked and uh, according to that it will be decided whether or not you will get the allowance so also about the admission requirements for international students first of all you need to keep in mind the deadlines for non-eu students the deadline is 15th of april for EU citizens and applicants from Turkey, Russia, Ukraine and Georgia, it is 1st of June. But there's another deadline for Finnish citizens who are applying on a BA level. And this deadline is 1st of August. So those are the deadlines you need to... Before the deadlines, everything has to be filled in and sent to us. Uh, the first step is that you need to fill in the online application at estonia.dreamapply.com. So this is the web page you need to go. After that, you need to pay the application fee, which is 80 euros. And then you need to send by post to us the online application cover from Dreamapply that has to be printed and signed. 
And for BA studies, you need to send us the copy of your secondary education certificate and transcript of records. For MA studies, your bachelor's degree certificate and transcript of records. And the translation is requested if the documents are not in English. And all the copies and translations need to be attested by a notary as well. I know there's one uh, person from Finland who is listening. For uh, Finnish uh, citizens, it is possible to bring the documents to us. We are coming to Finland in uh, May. So you can uh, bring the documents uh, to our facilities in uh, in Helsinki, and uh, then we can already say if it's all okay or uh, something else needs to be sent to us as well. You can uh, you can see the deadlines when we're uh, when we are coming from uh, TLU slash meet us, and there is all the necessary information when we are coming to Finland and where is the place. After that. Uh, you also need to prove your English proficiency. You need to have English at least on B2 level in order to study here. You can prove it with uh, well-known tests as YELT or TOEFL, or you also you can carry out the language test here at Tal University. So once again, people from uh, Finland, we are also conducting the Tal University language test when we come to Finland. So there's a possibility to do one there as well. After that, you need to upload to the online application system the copy of your identification page of your passport and the receipt that you have paid the application fee. Some of the countries have also country-specific requirements. Uh, for that, please go to uh, tlu.ee slash admissions to see whether or not your country has country-specific requirements. For example, once again, if you are from uh, Finland, Finnish citizens, and you have cum laude approbator, uh, then you do not uh, have to prove extra your English proficiency. So a few words about the student life here in uh, Tallinn. We have a student union here that, under which there are different organizations that uh, organize uh, different events. You can be part of the activities, organized activities. Uh, so what we have, we have international club that organizes events for international students, ASN Thailand for exchange students. We even have our own student TV that broadcasts the latest news. We have our own culture clubs, sports club, photo club, culture collectives like choirs, even our symphony orchestra, uh, our own students cafe and even a childcare. So accommodation in Tallinn. Uh, Tallinn University has its own dormitory that just around the corner, so close by. The two photos you see here are the photos from our dormitory. So it looks quite nice. There are double rooms for the price of 170.50 euros per month. Uh, there's another dormitory, chief for S dormitory, that's close by where there are double and single rooms for the price of 180 and 360 euros. Also an deco dormitory where there are double and single rooms for the price of 150 and 300 euros. Of course, there is always a possibility to rent an apartment yourself with your friends or with your course mates. Uh, and as like in every city, the prices vary a lot. If you would like to know more about the dormitories, you can go to tlu.ee slash housing. There are some for more photos, more information, and also links where you can uh, see uh, information about the apartments that can be rent. Approximate living cost here in Tallinn is 300 up to 500 euros. That, that does not include the accommodation. Here are just a few examples of the prices. Student meal here at the campus, usually it's 350, but it depends what else you want there. So it varies from three up to seven euros. Public transportation is free of charge in Tallinn for the residents of Tallinn. Theater tickets 12 to 18 euros, concert tickets 8 to 13 euros, and so on. 
So we told you about the, the degree programs, but what else we offer are short courses during Tallinn Summer and Winter School. Uh, Tallinn Summer School takes place in July, this year from 11th until 29th of July. And one course that we offer there is uh, Money and Banking, International Finance Law and International Trade Law. If you're interested in law studies, you can participate in that course. The winter school is usually in January. During the summer school, we have approximately 350 participants from all over the world. During winter school, uh, much less because during the summer school, we have approximately 20 different courses. During winter school, much less, four or so. Additional to uh, courses, we offer also a cultural program for the participants, where the participants can go and visit museums, go to field trips outside of Tallinn, and so on. The registration for the summer school is already opened. So if you go to summerschool.tlu.ee, uh, you can find a course there, what you like, and already register for the course. So our main campus here in Tallinn, how does it look like? Uh, as I already said, uh, we are right in the heart of the city. Uh, our, all of our buildings have Latin names that represent certain uh, traditions to the university and also so our students will know in which building they need to go. Terra building is the oldest building of Tallinn University. This is where the ceremony hall is, uh, is located at. So everybody who graduated Tallinn University here in Tallinn will graduate there. Astra building is the newest addition to Tallinn University. There are different laboratories. Silva is also known as the language building. Nova, this houses Baltic Film Media Arts and Communication School, so everything necessary for filmmaking is there, and also the cinema hall is located there. Ursa, there they study fine arts, and Mare, uh, where there are different lecture rooms, seminar rooms, and different institutes are located there as well. Here are just a few photos of our facilities. What I suggest you to do, in case you have any questions about living here in Tallinn, about uh, Tallinn University, about the study programs, you can contact, contact our ambassadors. So if you go to tlu.ee slash ambassadors, uh, basically all of the English-based programs have their own ambassador. So you can see their email from there, from the site, and you can write to them and ask questions about the programs and overall life here at Tallinn. And they are more than happy to answer to you. Uh, last but not least, what I suggest you to do is to follow us in social media as well to keep up with our latest doings. In Facebook, you can find us when you type in Tallinn University. In case you have any questions uh, about admission, then I suggest you to write to admissions at tlu.ee. Meanwhile, you can go to our webpage and look up there more information about our university.